Hi, I'm Mandy from Warnology, and welcome back to my channel. So, I typically do like thrift hauls, and I've also done some reselling what sold videos, but I went to a thrift store, and I can't even wait one second. Like, I have to show these things to everyone before I even like hang them off on the rack. So, I just can't wait one more second. So everybody who likes long form content, here you go. Um, grab something to drink and cheers, let's get into the haul. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five bags of things. And let me tell you what my intentions were for this thrift haul. I went to the thrift store with the intentions of spending between 20 and $40. I was like, this is gonna be my video. I'm gonna spend like $40. Can I stay on a budget when I get to the thrift store? The answer is no, I can't. <laughs> Drop a comment if you've ever tried to go to the thrift store with only $40 um, because that completely got debunked and now I have five bags and I'm gonna show you everything I got for $100. Five bags, I, I, like, I feel like I crushed it. So you're gonna see the good, bad, and the ugly because I might find flaws, I might find things that like I can't really sell, but I'm gonna show it all to you. So, numero uno, good American. Good American jeans and you know, pretty good condition. The knees are like really distressed, but I don't think that that's an issue. I think it's kind of like the whole vibe. These are super stretchy. They're a small size, but they're like, your quintessential skinny, skinny jean for summer. They're high rise, super cute. Number one, this is one of like the first things I found. Then, and I feel like I've kind of got vibes going when I'm like shopping. This is a vintage Ann Taylor, like striped, like Parisian top. I think this is so cute, I love the stripes. I just noticed there's like an itty bitty little hole Oh well, I don't think that matters. To me, that wouldn't matter. I think this is super cute. I wouldn't expect to sell this for like a ton of money, but I think it's a really great basic. And it looks like something that would be sold at like Everlane or Madewell. These are vintage. They're just like impressions, I don't know. I feel like this color is so beautiful. This like velvet like lounge pant where you could dress this up and wear it like super dressy. Or you could just wear it with like a t-shirt or like basically sleep in them. But these look vintage. I think these are super cute. And then, oh my gosh, speaking of, speaking of Everlane, look. Mm -hmm. It's a whole fit. It's a whole fit. These are so cute. They need a little lint rolling. There's like a little fuzz and stuff, but these are, re they really don't look like they've been worn. You know, are there. You know, I know. <laughs> you know when like you wash black pants and they get like a little funky? Like the, you know, if they're not as black. I can't tell the size. Um, unsure. It doesn't say on here and I don't see the other Everlane tag. I'll try them on if they're my size. Yeah, you <laughs> want to try these on. Um, yeah, can't tell, but they are short. These are so freaking cute. Okay, so like I said, I spent $100 on this haul. I am a reseller, so, you know, I am trying to make money off of the things that I bought. So, so far, like, I would expect these to sell for about $40. I would expect these to maybe sell for like 30. So that's 70 and we're not even counting the other two pieces. This is a vintage Liz Claiborne skirt. It's like that like knee length skirt that's kind of like those midi skirts and like knee length pencil skirts have like really come back into style. I feel like this is super cute. The only thing to me that would make this like a little more current is if it had that slit in the front, which you could probably just cut and then let it fray. If you 
are a DIY type of person. This is men's J. Crew black tag, so not factory. This is like the real store. I feel like this is really cute. I don't know if this is gonna make it. That's men's? Yeah, make it to resell. I feel like I would wear this and my fiance would wear this. And it's like a summer sweater. Super cute. I didn't see any flaws. I checked the wrists, cause you know, that's where I get all my stains is like the wrists. It's like coffee That might stain. be a good piece for Brooklyn. That's what I was thinking too, but look at this. I told you I was shopping a vibe. Do you see this color situation? There happening? are a couple. Look at that. Oh my <laughs> God. That is so cute. Um, this guy, let's see. I don't, I blacked out. I don't even remember buying some of this stuff. Oh, this is like a kid's piece. So cat and Jack. I picked this up because supposedly there's like a, um, like an exchange program for this brand. Like if you take them, like they're, you're used like kid stuff, they'll give you like a partial credit to buy new stuff and it's sold at Target. So supposedly you can get a Target gift card. So That's cool. I might have to circle back. I think this is also them too. How cute. Cute. Aww. But if anybody's kind of interested in this, instead of me trying to, you know, take it back to Target, oh, that's not gonna work. Um, drop a comment because I'm willing to sell it. Then it'll go to a good home for sure. This one at the end, I did realize there's a stain, but I feel like I can get it out. It is free people. Just a cute little, you know, gauzy top. I see the little stain. I'm assuming it's either makeup or coffee, but we'll see. We'll soak it in OxyClean and hopefully it comes out. Oops. <laughs> but if it comes out, I think it's a good purchase. It's super cute. And then there are a few things I know I'm gonna have to work on. Like this might not be sellable, might be sellable. It is a cashmere like long sweater, black. You could see like probably the moths got to it, which is so sad. But I saw this tag, Raquel Allegra. This probably retailed for like 350 bucks. So what do you think I should do with this? If you have a suggestion, please drop a comment. In my opinion, it's all black. I could put a bunch of different holes in it and it'll look like it's something from all saints and then it's like a vibe yeah. here it's like oh it's garbage but if this was all saints then yeah. it's a total vibe as long as they're not like in the booty or something but like if it had holes like tiny holes i don't know it's definitely not supposed to go to a landfill i can tell you that much but i saw that i felt the material first and i was like Oh my gosh, I feel it. It's got to be like cashmere. And then I saw the tag and I was like, oh, I know that brand. It's very expensive. Now this is, I'm assuming probably vintage. This is really cute. So cute. Look at the like detail. Oh my gosh. So I'm thinking, and this might not get traditionally listed, but I did, I'm in the process of like, a little opportunity to have my stuff sold in a store in Brooklyn that hopefully I can circle back around and give you guys more information about that. But I feel like that would be a really good piece to take too. Um, and I was trying not to forget about the men. So clearly I've got that one J. Crew piece. And then this is Scotch and Soda. That's a good one. And it also has like the style of the t-shirt. So if someone likes this fit, it would be easy for them to find. It's a little bit longer, but I thought that was cool. I can't believe that this is like a whole color palette right here. Seriously? It's so crazy to me. <laughs> Sometimes you just do that, like zone in on certain textures and colors, I think. And then it's like all you can find. It's like when you buy a new car and you're like, oh, I've never seen this color car, this type of car before in my life. And then it's all you see. Um, 
super cute. This is Zara. I love this. I see a little bit of discoloration here on the lace, but it looks like makeup. So I probably can just use like a makeup removing wipe or something on there. This is so cute. Little crop top. I love that. That looks like, I thought that was gonna be free people like intimately. Um, and then this is probably, I'm gonna say unisex, but probably for men. It, I don't think it has any tags, but just a cute little vest. If you've watched any of my other videos, I do have a thing for menswear's vests. Um, I like the brand Frankie Shop, and they do a lot of like men's vests as like tops and like cool menswear pants. And that's what it reminds me of. Now some of these pieces, I don't know if you can see them, but they do have like the, you know, traditional Goodwill tags. So they're probably in store and didn't sell. This piece is Zara. This might be a little bit of an older piece, but to me it looks so current. How hot is that? It's pretty lightweight too, like. Yeah, let me feel it. Yeah. Mm. Like it's, it's like ribbed material, but it's not like full on sweater. So like, I feel like if it were like 60s at night, like if you're going to dinner or something, it's probably something someone could wear. Or if you're gonna be like in air conditioning. Probably should have done that from the bottom, but that's cute. I also am always here for an animal print, so there is that. And then I thought this was so cute. I don't know this brand. I don't know where it comes from, but I did just sell like a yellow tie-dyed um, t-shirt that was like part of my dupes and it's the same tie-dyeing, but this is what got me. Oh, look at that. Wiener dog. <laughs> Cashy had some, or my little puppy, my little puppy has some cute little wiener dog friends, so. <laughs> um, super cute, and it's oversized. <gasps> I know, I feel like I need to show this to um, Milk Dud's parents. Yeah, that would be so cute. Right. It's, oh my gosh. I mean, if there was anything that like, resembled either of our dogs, like on a shirt, a sock, anything, we're gonna get it a fork like it wouldn't matter we've become those people yeah we're definitely those people oh <gasps> okay this piece i'm so excited this piece i kept going back and forth guys because originally like i said it was always supposed to spend like i started it out as 20 dollars, and then i was like oh i spent 40 dollars, and then i found this piece and i know it's not going to sell anytime soon which is the part that bothers me but oh <gasps> I had to get it. Look at this sweater coat. Oh my God. I already have like extreme regret for selling this other sweater coat that I had found that was vintage. This is so cool with the pockets. And I know it is vintage because it has these big honking <laughs> shoulder pads, which are removable. I'll probably take them out before I try to sell them, sell it. That's cool. or Maybe I won't even sell it. It's so cute. It's not gonna sell anytime soon because- What is the fabric? Um, I didn't even check the fabric. I don't even think it has like a fabric explanation for a tag. It just has the, um, the name of the designer. So I might look the designer up and see what they use. It kind of has that like alpaca kind of- It looks really cool. It's. Are you kidding me? To throw over when you're walking the dog in those colder months and mm -hmm. just looks so cool. And it has all the buttons and it has pockets. I think I said in my last video, like I want to talk to whoever decided like pockets don't go on things. Like I want their phone number. Like these pants for like there's no pockets. And although I love the color of the pants and the fit, the no pocket thing is really not my favorite, so I don't wear them as much as I would like to. Oh. That's actually not their fit stuff. <laughs> <laughs> That's like, it was in the back seat of my car and then it ended up in this bag. Everlane? Another Everlane. Like a, I feel like the other jeans are maybe a little bit more unique in shape, but it's a button fly high, wasted like 
washed black skinny they're a good wash like huh they're a good wash yeah they're a great wash and if you can tell from the tag like they really haven't been washed a lot like they haven't been worn a lot so i would say like this color black it that's because it's supposed to be that color black yeah but but like these are really great like i found two everlane jeans you see why i went over budget i just kept adding stuff to my cart i was really struggling with myself mentally I was like, stay on budget. And then, and then, you know, everything went out the window. Now, this piece looks very much like this. I think it's strawed, a strawed dress that I've had my eye on. Um, this might be just like an Amazon dupe for it or something, or maybe like a little boutique. But what a cute I wanna wear it. beach cover up. Even not at the beach. Like you could wear like a little slip underneath this. And then like a cute little bra top or just let your booty out. I mean, whatever. It's really cute. So I don't expect a lot for this, um, but it's super current looking. Very cute. Like I said, I think it might be a dupe for a straw dress that I saw. So, and then this, I would say this is probably vintage but it's from Saks Fifth Avenue, 100% silk, little button up daisy gingham or wildflower gingham top. Oh, this was really cute. The color got me. Now we're, we're not in the color palette anymore. Now things are going estranged. <laughs> I think this has all the buttons. I'm not gonna take the time to button them all up because sometimes that takes a long time, but I think you could get the, get the vibe. I didn't see any discoloration or anything but I felt like that was really beautiful that probably retailed like a silk blouse 170 bucks or something like that and then just can't get away from this color I love this color and the more greeny version of this color this has no tags I don't know what brand it is but it looks like something from anthropology or Madewell it looks so cute and this like cool cable knit detail it's like boxy i love it it's soft too you want to feel Ooh. <laughs> um not itchy like if if someone has like a material allergy i think you'd be okay with this because it feels like that chenille like yarn oh look at how cute it is i'm stressed I want it. it. I know. <laughs> You've already pulled too many things I want. I know, right? I mean, me too. See, I was really struggling. Cute little baby red hot chili peppers hoodie. Oh, thank you. <gasps> this is so cute. I couldn't not get it. 3T. I mean, I think I was. Does that mean like a three year old? Like three toddler? Oh, no, no, I okay, <laughs> I must have been this size when I was like freaking seven months old. Like this. There's no way. But anyway, this is super cute. It's not like, you know, I'm not like crazy about the Red Hot Chili Peppers, although I do like a lot of their songs, but I'm not like, you know, I'm not like a f super fan girl, but I do It's just so like cute it. when kids are in band stuff. I know, I love it. But I don't have anyone this small in my life right now. Ugh. Um, But I do know someone who might want it, so. That might not get listed unless someone wants it. Please let me know. These are so cute. These are some like vintage Levi's, like dad shorts. They got the Levi's. They're like those longer, like, you know, you see all of, like, you see Kendall Jenner and like all the girls wearing them. Oh my God, they're so cute. I love like the broken in pockets look. It looks like someone was like carrying like their wallet or like a pack of cigarettes back in the day. <laughs> um, I love that about them. I think these are so cool. These honestly might sell for more than like the Everlane jeans and all that. So if they have like the perfect distressing, it's gonna be hard for me not to like try these on and wanna wear them. I love like all of this, all of this. I do have a pair that I wear a lot though. But they're not like a raw hem. I like the raw hem. I'm gonna struggle. I 
have a lot here, so we might we might have to break this up into two two videos. I don't want two. I'm gonna try to go fast. We're doing good. Okay, good. This piece made well. Cute little. I think it's probably like a cotton linen blend. Striped tee. I didn't see any major flaws or anything. I mean, like vacation. Look at now we're on. Like, wait, I have to show you. Now we're on like a whole nother color palette. I should have put this one over there too. It's so weird how these things happen. Um. Okay, so this piece I'm not gonna get a lot for, but. I might create little bundles when I find like multiple things that are like in this size. Little Brandy Melville, cute little polka dot mini skirt. Felt like that was really cute. Um, it's a tiny size, but it was in good condition. Another skirt. This one I thought was really cool. This one's Zara. And it's like a really interesting material, pleated like python. It's like almost like a micro suede or something. But I felt like all the coastal grandma that's now like turned into coastal cowgirl, like this could be like maybe in that vibe. Probably just gonna put it on one of these hangers because just can't find all my band hangers. But that should be fine temporarily. And then this piece, although it's not exactly the right season and there are a couple flaws, it is Burberry and it's not in like, it's not in the best condition, but it's not in the worst. There's like a couple little spots, but like they're like, no one would see these back here. I don't know if you can see it when I'm stretching it out, but how cute, like a little Argyle sweater. It's so soft. So hopefully, that doesn't bother anybody. I mean, if you have shoulder length hair, like you wouldn't even see it. So, but I thought that was cute. And considering the material, it was worth getting. And then this is one of like the unique pieces that just pulls at all my heartstrings, like this one that's vintage. Um, this looks like a handmade skirt. I love it. It's so cool. It's like ankle length. I could see like Gwen Stefani or something like early 2000s wearing something like this. And look, it has this cool like pull detail. So you could like cinch it up and then tie this in a bow. But definitely handmade. So someone made this, so I had to save it. It could not go in a landfill. Like this is way too unique and cool. No tags. No tags. Not a single tag. And you can tell on the inside, like it's like, it's, it really is like handmade, but it's linen. That's pretty. It's so pretty. Could you imagine with like a cool chunky Doc Martin, like sandal or boot, or you could wear like a Stuart Weissman, like. I love the string in the back. I love the string in the back. They got me with that string. Yeah. Like this already had me in the material and then how cool that string looked. Yeah. Like all the um, like parachute pants and stuff that have come back, I was like, this is really cool. And then this is just like your cute little summer dress. Lulu's, great little like special occasion brand, summer vacation brand. It has like a little sash, one shoulder. If you're going on vacay or going to like maybe um, like a not super formal wedding, like an out, outdoor wedding or backyard wedding or something like that. I feel like this dress would be perfectly appropriate and it's in good condition and it's probably like a year old. And then back on my Parisian theme, <laughs> this one I kind of want to keep for myself. We'll see. Cause I also like the other one. So I don't know. Um, and other stories, which is an H and M like under the H and M umbrella but it's like more expensive. This is super cute. I love the little like, what is this called? Like ribbon edged or scallop, not scallop, scalloped would be like this. If you know what this is called, let me know, drop a comment. So cute, I love the high neckline, really cool. 
And I would assume this is not very old, I would say. Maybe from fall. And it's really bouncy and I like the seam down the middle. Really cute. And then I grabbed these. They are by Something Navy, the, the blogger. Blogger. And also now she has her own store and her own line. I didn't find the top but I felt like you could just wear like a black bathing suit top or a white bathing suit top. Um, but they're so cute, high cut velvet. They don't look like they've ever been worn. Size medium, made in Portugal. They're really cute. That would be cute like underneath here. So fun, I'm gonna hang out with it. Maybe I'll sell them together. <laughs> Okay, did we do two bags already? Okay, I think I'm doing good. Should we do this bag or accessory bag? We're at 26 minutes, so. What do you think? We usually go to around 40, so what I, whatever you think you can do. All right, I'm gonna try to go fast. <laughs> All right. I feel like you're really gonna like these and the world is going to like these. So I saw these, they looked crazy. I, I thought they were maybe like, I don't know what I thought they were, but they are free people. They have these cool elastic sides and they're gonna be like super like um, paper bag waste. They have these little holes and stuff. I want them. They're so freaking cool with the slit. What? Do they have a size or? Um. Let's see here. You know it doesn't matter. Yeah. What size do you think these are? Come extra on. small. Extra small. Free people, extra small. <laughs> Free people, extra small. <laughs> so, you know, we know how free people does it. So, it's like, you can wear these for the rest of your life. Yeah, we need those. Those are so cool. The material is pretty lightweight. I was like, these are really awesome. Um, I got this because like, you know, I thought for a second I was going to start going back to the gym. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Um, it's from Barry's, Barry's Boot Camp, if you're familiar. It's like the, you know, that tissue material, which is great to work out in because. Love it, want it. You're just not going to get hot. And I need more hangers. Um. Yeah, it's super cute, super lightweight, and if you're like, you know, someone that goes to the boot camps, like, or if, even if you don't, who cares? It's cute. So all that to say that it's cute and wearable. This got me with the print. I don't know how to wear it. In my mind, it's a top. Unsure, maybe it could be a sarong. I'm not sure what it is. I'll try to style it in the future to let you know what it actually ends up being. But whatever it is, it's really cute. I'm like, you see, there's like these little toggle, like, I don't know, is it just a sarong or do I put it like this and then this, my arm goes through here? Probably. Right? Maybe both. I had to get it. It looked very like, you know, early 2000s and cool. So we'll try to figure that out. <laughs> but that's when I started going rogue. I think right about then is when I'm like, well, I guess it's just gonna cost what it costs and I'm just gonna keep getting things. And then I picked up this little skirt. I feel like this is probably vintage. The tag was giving me vintage. Cute little, I don't think it's silk. I think it's like rayon, but I like the top and the colors. So I felt like it was very wearable. Like, I definitely could see this, like, in any type of store currently, so. I'm excited about the comeback of a skirt, you know? Like, I felt like no one was wearing skirts for the past few years. Yeah. Like, you could always wear a skirt, but you're not going to look, like, super trendy. But now I feel like it's, like, very trendy. This shirt is probably not going to get listed because, you know... My inner child. This is scotch and soda. This can't be very old. Look at all these cute embroidered, crazy polka dot 
happy faces. <gasps> kid core. Talk about the kid core dopamine dressing. I mean, yeah. I'm probably gonna keep this for myself unless someone really wants to make a claim for it, but it's so cute. I love it. And I like that it's on a black t-shirt, not like white or gray. It's so cute. I love it. And then I started getting sad and getting all these sweaters because I was like, oh, I like cozy weather. And then I was like, is it a great idea to get this? Cause it's not gonna probably sell for four months, but I thought it was cute enough. It's from Mango. So it probably retailed for, I don't know, anywhere between like 60 and $90. I thought it was like a cute enough print and the colorway is great that it's like, this is the type of sweater I feel like people will buy in like September, you know, like just the beginning of it. So you could still wear like bright kind of non muted colors that you typically see in fall. These are also trying me. <gasps> Look, they're Levi's orange tab. These are more rare than a typical red tab Levi's. So cute, look at these. The other ones were long, so those are like, you know, the dad short. This is like your mom short, but like sexy mom, with the little under the booty um, hole. So cute. It, this one has a zipper fly, but these are really cute. I can't believe I found two pairs of Levi's. These kind of look a little newer because they have like the size printed on the inside. The other ones, I am pretty certain are vintage. And then I picked up this top and I didn't get a chance to like steam or lint roll or clean any of this. So if you see like it has fuzzies and stuff, it will not be listed that way. So this is uh, Maeve by Anthropology. This is a very soft ribbed crossover, probably like kind of plungy front top sweater top, cute little buttons. Even though it's a sweater, I feel like this could definitely sell now. It's light enough and it's kind of like sexy that you could wear it for date, like date night. Um, that might give you a better idea of what it's gonna look like. I like it. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> We're struggling here, you really like everything. This is vintage. And check this out. Even the thrift store, $30 hand knit. This won't sell right away, but um, I'm assuming it will sell eventually. Kind of got that like coastal grandma. This looks like something like Isabel Morant may have made. This might be good for Brooklyn. This is definitely good for taking it to the store in Brooklyn if I get a space there. Um, it's like open knit. I think this is probably like rabbit or something or Angora. Um, but the color is really beautiful. I could imagine this with like white shorts. Super cute. Oh, I really like this. The Brooklyn girlies will get it. Oh, the Brooklyn, they could definitely get this. They know how to wear this with the jorts, right? Yeah. Like, and if you haven't heard jort, I didn't mess up. It's like a jean short. It's called a jort. Um, it wasn't like a word, word fumble, which I do do. That wasn't one of them. Um, this is super cute. Banana Republic, kind of like washed black, open knit, high neck sweater. This is something I would wear like immediately. This is so cute. Super cute. It's not itchy. I think it's cotton. Open. Oh, it's even cuter on the hanger. I think it has a little pull, but I can pull that through the back. I'm not worried about that. I want it. I want it. I mean, how could I leave Pac in the bins? Poetic justice. Are you kidding? I think it's just like a licensed tee. It's a long, you know, long sleeve t-shirt, but I can't believe I'm, I mean, it's not vintage, but I can't believe I, I beat the t-shirt heads to it. I mean, there actually wasn't a lot of people at the bins. I think that's why I found so much. It was a little bit of a light day. There wasn't as many people and lucky for me. This is vintage. I hope to list this, but it, 
I might, if we get that opportunity in Brooklyn, I might do that. This is so cool. This is definitely a Brooklyn. This is so freaking it cool. Is beautiful. It and needs some lint fine. rolling, but that's fine. It needs maybe a little sweater shave and a steam, but this is so wearable in my opinion. It's so cool, but it's like kind of vintagey material. Um, like vintagey, I think this is like probably acrylic, but with like those black Everlane jeans or jean short. I mean, there's so many ways you could wear this. Love it. I'm struggling because I definitely want to keep a lot, but that's not the goal here. Um, another little knit sweater, sleeveless sweater top. This is so cute. This is, I don't think is vintage. It's probably like cotton. I don't know this brand. I'll have to look it up. If you're familiar, drop a comment, let me know. But I like the shoulders. Like the seams are really cute. And I wonder if the same person like owned this and that black one. It's like, you know, similar vibe. Also, again, super cute. Dreamers. This is not vintage, but it's giving vintage mermaid core, that like open knit net type of vibe. It's cropped. This is super cute. Little black cardigan with like iridescent buttons. This is so wearable over like a tube top and some jean shorts at the beach or even over like a little sweater, um, like a, not a sweater, like a sundress. I love it. I think it was doing really good. And then this one, I don't think I would have typically picked something like this up if I didn't just watch the Chanel runway show. It was in their typical Goodwill for about 36 bucks. But the new Chanel runway for resort, it is like, obviously this is giving Chanel vibes, but they have like all these like metal details and all this kind of stuff. And if like that is your vibe and you're looking for like a dupe, I have it here for you. It is super cute. Like, I like that it's like, you know, looks a little like the just position of it like sweet but then like kind of hard looking with like this like chunky choker type thing all right we have two more bags can can we do it okay <laughs> i mean i'd love to make it two videos but I, i'm kind of just like so excited um okay here's when story time begins so i was having a really hard time until I found this farm Rio dress. You've got to be kidding me. Look at it. And this is the newer tag. I just found one a few weeks ago. Please check like probably like first or second video if you like this kind of stuff, where I found an older farm Rio dress, which I've since sold. Um, this one's gonna be hard because this is something I feel like I could make work for myself but it is so cute. So I'll tell you the story while I'm hanging some other stuff. I was really having a hard time guys. Like I found a Madewell shoe. I could only find one. It was the cutest little boot. Then I found a Stuart Weissman Thailand boot over the knee boot. I only found one. I did find this. This is super cute. No tags. But I had to get it because it's just so cute. Um, so I found the one boot. There was the Stuart Weissman boot, which, you know, they retail for $800. I found the other Madewell boot. That boot probably retailed for $150 to $170. Only found one of each. So I started praying to the thrift gods and I said, oh my gosh, I've been such a good girl this year. Please, if you let me find one of these boots. I was looking through all the bins. This happens to be from Abercrombie, but it looks um, like it's never been worn. Cute little, but like, I feel like I could maybe, if it's the same size, bundle that with the... Um, Brandy Melville? Yes, the Brandy Melville. So I'm staring at it, but I'm 
still thinking about those shoes I couldn't find. So I started praying to the thrift gods and they did not give me the boots, but immediately after I, you know, said everything and how it was going to be so good and continue to recycle, they gave me this dress. So there's that. <laughs> this I think is super cute. I kind of want to keep it. Um, this is from Urban Outfitters. Silence and noise. Cute little, uh, I would say this is like, a, not a sweatshirt, but a like heavy t-shirt dress with like the corseted side. This is so cool. I love it. Um, this looks pretty current. I would say probably from last fall. I really like that. It's like casual, but it could be dressed up. And then I was finding a few things that like didn't have tags and like, you know, didn't, weren't recognizable. And this is one of them. Like, I don't know what magic is. I'll look it up. Hopefully it's a thing, but this is just a really long, like maxi skirt. Like I'm five ten, and it is on the ground. So I thought this was really beautiful for like vacation or a special event or something. The print is so beautiful and it's like really flowy. And then this piece also like back to getting to wear stuff to the beach. This is House of Harlow, which isn't this Nicole Richie's brand? Yeah. I think it is. I love this like 70s knit dress. Like, you know, the other dress is also like a bathing suit cover up, but this one comes with like a slip underneath, which you could or could not wear. Like you could remove the slip and then just wear it like over a bathing suit if you wanted your bathing suit to show. But I didn't see any like major flaw. It was so cute. Very House of Harlow kind of groovy looking. And a few more. This is an anthropology brand. I don't know the name of this brand, but I, I saw that it had the RN number, but I thought this was just really pretty. Just a simple, pretty tank. Like this could be a work tank, like a career tank underneath, like maybe like a light linen blazer or something. And then this is probably one of my favorite pieces. This I believe is probably vintage. Doesn't have any tags and it has shoulder pads. Cute little, this is definitely cashmere. I can tell by feeling it. Um, but it has this cool, cottage core detail. I saw one little hole, but that's not a big deal in my opinion. But this is so beautiful. The shoulder pads will come out, but maybe that's a better angle for it. So cute. That's probably like one of my favorite things that I picked up. Then I got this guy. I might stop hanging things just so I can get through it. I'll just put it back down. Um, little halter top. Love this it. is from Zara. I love what color. Color's great. It looks, I checked the crotch. It doesn't like, look like it's been worn. What size is that? It is. Um, a size medium. It's that bouncy material, so. Cute. Not gonna hang anything else just to save on time. This, I thought, is this dated? I'm not sure, but it is new with tags. It's Fashion Nova. And I felt like it's cute enough that like, if you're doing like a girl's trip or a party, bachelorette party or something like, it's new with tags, no one ever wore it. It needs to, you know, not end up in a landfill. So super cute, probably won't make a lot from it, but it does have all of the beading. And I know like mesh, details is kind of like pretty popular right now so thought that was super cute this I thought was very cool and I don't know how I ended up with it it's really cool adidas oversized sweatshirt that's like sweater material in the middle but then it's a sweatshirt I thought this was super cool um the tag and the other tag. It can't be that old. 
It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. And you're not even like a pinky girl. Not this color pink at least. Mm -mm. You're like millennial, <laughs> millennial pink, right? Mm -mm. Which is not that pink, but it's really cool. It's oversized, so. And then, let's see. I don't even remember, now I'm blanking. Oh. Want them. Love them. Love it. Was I shopping for you? Am I, I feel like I feel like this entire haul is like literally for you. Size 26. Like, but, <laughs> uh, these are nice and long. They are from Urban Outfitters. They have this sexy little hole right there by the booty that looks, you know, just like a really expensive pair of jeans. Um, they really don't look like they've been worn. These are super cool. Um, I hope they find a home, even though they might be your home, but that makes me happy too. And then this guy, it's just H&M, but I thought that the dress was sexy enough. And I've always done well with like ribbed bodycon midi dresses. And this one has that sweetheart neckline that's like super sexy. And it's not super heavy, so it's still wearable, like even currently, you know? But that, I, I wanna try that on. I feel like that's super cute. And then this, I kinda, I don't know if I'll list this because I did watch this like reel or TikTok on like how to turn like a scarf like this into like a top. I already thought like, oh, to make a really cute sarong because it has the fringe, but I saw like how to turn it into a top and this and that, but this is the print. It feels like it's kind of like linen-y. It's almost giving me like, maybe it could go on a table, but who cares? It would also make like a super sexy sarong if you have like a black bathing suit. So we'll see, we'll see if that gets listed, might not. And then I also have seen all of those like little, um, I don't know if anybody has seen them, but like the comeback of like floral details. So like I watched a video on how to turn a scarf into like a rosebud choker. So you'll see it later. Hopefully I'll be good to do it, but this is a silk scarf. I think it's so beautiful. I don't even know who it is. I think I see a name in there. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, but I got these to kind of play with that. This one, oh, look at how beautiful this is. This is silk too. And I'm confused. Like, is this, could this just be a, a cover up? Like a butt? Like, I want it. How hot, like over, oh, over that um, corset top. And you could wear this literally as like a dress with like a little, I don't know. It's really hot. I imagined it like around the neck kind of whatever. It's super cute. <laughs> I got that. And then I got this cute little like vintage. Oh, and mattress. Hat, which I don't want to look super costumey, but I feel like it's really cute. And this is what got me. It's from the Ritz Carlton. Like it might've been like a little bell boy hat or bell girl hat or something, but it is so cute. Is it wearable? Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> Let me know if, if this is something I could sell or if it's super wearable. I feel like with the right thing. I got this hat just because I like a dad hat and I like the colors and I don't know what the meaning of this is, but I liked it, so. And this is the brand. But I was just vibing with it. I thought it was cool. So I did that. I love like Western detailed things. So I got this cute little belt. Um, typically I like to pick up belts that are leather. I think this is a faux leather, but there are vegan people out there that want to look cute. So I figured I'd get it. This detail is really beautiful in my opinion. Okay. So there's that um, for like a festival or something. I think I only got maybe one pair of shoes. So I got these. It's okay, Cashy. Cash. It's rarely. I know you're tired. I swore to myself I wasn't gonna wear lip gloss in any more videos and now my hair is just, <laughs> I did it. Um, I got these. I feel like I can get like the marks on the toes off. They're Dutch naturalizers, but I'm gonna assume that they are from the 90s. Look at how cute that heel is. Like, what size? 
this looks, um, they are a nine. Um, they look like something that's on Shop Up. Like these, and with a square, like these are so cool. Like with the dad shorts and these and like a tube top, living your like best Carrie Bradshaw life. Um, those I thought were really cute. And then I got this, I'm gonna throw it through the washing machine. Just a little Herschel mm -hmm. it. mini backpack, like something like this if you go to a festival or you're out shopping, you wanna go on a picnic or amusement park. I actually happen to love amusement parks. Like I like roller coasters and thrill rides. Um, and then I got this, <gasps> my little granny, granny court. Look at that. This definitely looks just like a bag I saw on Shop Up. I might be doing a dupe video with this. Little Rafa bag. But this like faded floral detail I think is so beautiful. Look at the inside. This is vintage. This is remarkably clean for a vintage bag. Looking good, right? It's so cute. I wanna go on a picnic now. Um, but I hope to sell that. But guys, I think that's everything. I think I did it before the camera died. I think I did a good job, but can you believe that I got all of this stuff <laughs> for a hundred dollars? This is crazy. So my whole purpose was to only spend Cashy. cash. <gasps> no, that's not your hat, buddy. Oh no. You little sneak. Um, the whole purpose of this is that I wanted to spend like, you know, 20 or $40 and then like see how much I could turn that 20 or $40 into. So I might do that with this. So moving forward, I might kind of give you updates on like, okay, I've made my money back and now I'm at this, but don't hold me to it. I don't know. I'm a creative and I think that's a good idea, but maybe it's whack. But that's my haul and I'm so excited to have shown it to you and I'm glad that you tuned in and stay stylish. Cheers.